fake news Wall Street Journal lies about Trump, then Sarah Sanders unleashes their worst nightmare. The Wall Street Journal intentionally lied and spread fake news about President Donald Trump. Too bad for them, things immediately blew up in the fake news outlet's collective face as White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders unleashed Wall Street Journal's worst nightmare, and she humiliated them in the process. It seems that the Trump administration is having to correct at least one fake news report a day as the liberal media continues to put out flagrant mistruths in hopes of discrediting the President of the United States. However, Trump officials are getting smarter when it comes to dealing with these purveyors of fake news. The Wall Street Journal was the most recent to try this stunt, and things backfired in spectacular fashion. As we all know, liberals' heads have been exploding over North Korea but only since Trump took office. Suddenly, the left seems to think the hermit kingdom stands a chance in a war against the U.S., so they're afraid that Trump's confident comments are going to start World War III. The fact that North Korea would be instantaneously obliterated if they ever tried anything is a topic for another day. However, it seems that some people wish to use the tensions to muddy up the water when it comes to the truth. Proving just that, the Wall Street Journal recently released a report that claimed Trump told them, I probably have a very good relationship with Kim Jong-un. Of course, they thought that there were no cameras around at the time and the only person with an audio recorder was them, or so they thought. As one would imagine, the article was released causing the left to get all stirred up yet again over Trump and his relationship with North Korea. Saying the usual Trump is a liar and that Trump is going to get us all killed, it wasn't long before the left was eating their words. At first, it started out small as President Donald Trump took to Twitter in order to refute the claims. The Wall Street Journal stated falsely that I said to them I have a good relationship with Kim Jong-un, of North Korea. Obviously I didn't say that. I said I'd have a good relationship with Kim Jong-un, a big difference. Fortunately we now record conversations with reporters, President Trump tweeted, adding, and they knew exactly what I said and meant. They just wanted a story. Fake news. Since the left is blinded by their own bias, though, they once again called President Donald Trump a liar, choosing to pick sides with the liberal rag and, of course, the side that fits their agenda to take down the president. Too bad for them, they chose wrong and none other than White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders was about to unleash their worst nightmare. According to Edge Review, it seems that the Trump administration has had enough of publications taking Trump's words out of context or completely misquoting him and have decided to ensure that this is no longer able to happen. In fact, Sarah most recently obliterated the claims by Wall Street Journal, releasing a White House recording of the interview. And boy, does it make the Wall Street Journal look bad. After calling the publication fake news, Sanders then made it perfectly clear that Trump said, I'd, as in I would, not I as in I do, have a very good relationship with Kim Jong-un, a very big difference as Trump pointed out. What's more, it's not just a simple misquote of I'd versus I Trump even says probably, leaving no doubt what he meant. Yet, Wall Street Journal is still in denial. With egg on their faces, the Wall Street Journal is doubling down on their claims, releasing their own recording, saying that they stand by their report. Too bad for them, it made them doubly look bad, and social media users, even some people who don't like President Donald Trump, didn't hesitate to let them know it. The fake news industry has their hands full with President Donald Trump, and now that he's learning how to deal with them, things are only going to get harder for those hoping to propagate lies. As for the Wall Street Journal, they just shot themselves in the foot. There's nothing worse than someone unwilling to admit they messed up, especially when you call yourself the news. The Wall Street Journal just lost all credibility. It's time for Americans to stand up to the lies and demand accountability.